Sportsnet. Hi and welcome to Curves, I'm Simon. And I'm Sonia. We're here in the Big Apple for the Cafe de Colombia Women's World Cup. We'll be checking that out on tour a little later in the show. We'll also be talking with new bona fide bad girl, Jennifer Leachman, who's in hospital with a broken leg, and that's why I'm here with Sonia. What else are we gonna see, Son? We'll also be on a mission to ski the Hudson River and the Statue of Liberty. We'll have Girl Talk with Karen Trulove. Then we're gonna go shopping in the Big Apple, WOW style, all that and much, much more coming up on Curves. We're going to check out the slalom prelims on tour, and you do not want to miss this one. Remember Joe Theismann? Oh, hey. The lovely Twin Lakes in Monroe, New York, host to the fifth stop on the Women's World Cup. Virginia Jake West was one of the first skiers into 35, and only 14 years old was a very credible performance. And just coming up inside three ball there at 35, but nonetheless, a great effort. Bringing on Elena Milikova of Russia here, seen at 38 off. First skier, a round ball too. It's a sensational performance for Elena. <laughs> Just hangs on to the handle there for the full point. Brady Hunt of the USA, seen here at 35. Looking good here, round ball two. Getting a little bit down the course here. Just gets around ball three and fails to make a turn. Laurie Krieger, also of the USA, seen here at 35. She also falling short there, just around ball three. So as we move down the list, Ronnie Barton, one of the first skiers into 38 off, around ball one, scurrying for number two. Just lets go of the line, manages to get round ball two, but without the handle, only scores one ball. Karen Trulove here also at 38, around ball one, and she manages to get over to two, just. And a little S turn there, gets back into the wake in time, and scores two at 32, the same as Elena Milikova. Now, Helena Shailen here, four-time world champion, popped up the handle very early in the event and seen here in disgust, thinking, what am I doing? Emma Shears was next out on the water. She and Tony Neville, the only two skiers competing in both events. Now, Emma knows here at 35, she must make it through this pass to get to 38 off. It's looking like the bubble is about at two ball at 38. If she can clear two, she'll guarantee a spot into the final. What a gutsy performance there at 35. Let's bring her on now at 38 off. And this is real grit determination now. She gets around ball one. Managed to get over to two. If she can get to three, it'll be a great spot for her. It goes right at the front. Oh, my God. And just checking out a little local geology also there as she finds the shore of the Twin Lakes. Tony Neville, also from Australia. Very tall girl seen here also at 35. And she has to get all the way through this pass as well and down to 38. Now at this point, Ronnie Barton is on the bubble. If Tony Neville can qualify, that will bump Ronnie out of the final. A gutsy performance there by veteran Tony Neville through 35 and now at 38 around ball one. A little slack line there, just gets around ball two. Has to quickly get back to the centre line, just makes it inside the green ball. And she also qualifies with two at 38 off. Susie Graham, what a legend she is on a new ski this year, looking very, very smooth. This folks is 38 off. She started in the opposite direction. Around three, and she's now into the lead. Around four as well, she's still going. Through the wakes over to five, just gets around five, drops the handle, and four and a half at 38 puts her into the lead. And that brings on the top gun and leader in the World Cup, Jennifer Leachman, around ball one. Remember, only needs two balls, but oh, it's catastrophe. And my God, what has happened here? The ski is absolutely shredded and slammed dunk the tour leader into the lake. Uh, and a second glance, you can see the ski looks something peculiar there. The tip coming up, hitting her in the chest, splitting in two, and both feet still in the ski. And that, that's got to be close to career-threatening, son. This is definitely going to be a premature ending to her season this year. It's horrible because she was the leader in the World Cup and she's really, really excited about I winning that title. that it's the bone above the ankle that's broken. Yeah, it is. Well, there's a look at the failed ski and there's something that you don't see every day. But uh, we wish Jenna speedy recovery and we'll catch up again a little later in the show. So our finalists are Susie Graham of Canada, Elena Milikova of Russia, Tony Neville of Australia, Emma Shears also of Australia and Karen Trulove of the USA. 
Unfortunately, we're going to have to visit Jennifer Leachman at the hospital. Jen, we love you and wish you all the best. But that can't stop the women of water sports on our new mission. Ski in the Statue of Liberty. This time we ain't getting lost, brother. Hey, I thought men never get lost. No, this time it's my turn to go on a mission and we did get lost. On a lighter note, now it's time to head from Munro back to the Big Apple. chat with our broken bad girl, Jennifer Leachman. You're watching Curves on Fox Sports Net! Yeah! We're here at the Pro Water Ski Tour with Sammy Duval, and we're seeing an incredible number of personal bests behind Mastercraft's all-new Pro Star 190. Well, with the new positive pressure tracking system, everybody's skiing their best today. You gotta feel sorry for anyone out there who doesn't own a Mastercraft. It'd be enough to make you sick. <laughs> <laughs> it's either a Mastercraft or the sickening feeling you settled for second best. When we met, you said you needed a dentist. So I gave you my number, but you still haven't called. Maybe you don't know that 1-800-DENTIST is the hassle-free way to find a dentist. Maybe you're worried about commitment, and you don't know that it just takes a few minutes. And maybe you're scared. But hey, everyone's afraid of taking that first big step. Just don't let it keep you from getting the quality of dental care you deserve. Come on, don't leave me waiting by the phone. Call 1-800-DENTIST today. Curves is brought to you by Mastercraft, the leader and pulling farther ahead. By Malibu, breaking new ground, making new rules. And Nartix by Correctcraft since 1925. Hi, welcome back to Curves on Fox Sports Net. Let's head back on tour. 
Let's check out the best in the world at the jump prelims. Well, on the second of Twin Lakes up in Monroe, on the water, Sherry Sloan of the USA. And she packed a punch here with a beautiful looking 140 and an excellent performance there for Sherry coming back from injury this year. Very, very excited about that one. Laurie Krieger, also of the USA, brought out this 138 foot jump. Conditions were outstanding for the qualifying rounds on this particular morning. Brandy Hunt, again from the USA, bringing out a 136 here and very stylish there. Only five of these nine semi-finals will be going through to the finals. That's what they're going for at the moment. Karen Trulove again from the USA with a 134 there. And looking very, very strong indeed. But some great performances upwards to the 140s. And here comes one from Susie Law, who really packed a punch here. And that was a great jump for her. And she's having a great season so far. That's the second or third time this year she's jumped up to, to 140. The next skier on the start list was Bonnie Barton, but she scratched due to injury, bringing on Tony Neville, the other two-event skier, and slammed out this 145. How about that for landing? Absolutely beautiful stuff. Eleni Milikova, the current world overall champion now from Russia, popped out this nice 141, and looked like that would be enough to qualify her also. And the current tour leader from down under, Emma Shears. Takes to the ramp with reckless abandon. Into the base, booted off this fantastic 142. Pulling in just shy of Tony Neville. Which should be an exciting shootout with Tony Neville and Emma Shears, both from Australia, the two current leaders in World Cup. Eleni Milikova from Russia with a 141. Sherry Sloan with a 140-foot jump. And Susie Law, also of the USA, with a 140. Well, a great jump event there. The Aussies dominating that prelim, so that'll be a very dramatic final. And speaking of drama, Son. Now we have to go visit our broken friend, bona fide bad girl, Jennifer Leachman. For more than a decade, Jennifer Leachman has stood atop the mountain of success, dominating women's slalom skiing. But when she got to Monroe, New York, something went terribly wrong. one cross the wake and something happened at the wakes and then when I landed it you know the ski started to go that way and then the tip of the ski went under that way I think it separated sometime around then I don't know failed. the ski failed the ski broke uh -huh. yes, your bone break the bone broke did you see the pictures yeah your bone Jen, people say you're doing crazy stunts all the time to be a bad girl. What? <laughs> this is a little extreme. <laughs> yeah, I'd say this is over the top. This has got to uh, beat my skiing in the 30 mile an hour winds rain and la lightning last year, but uh, I kind of wish I would have uh, not been named a bad girl and, and uh, not gotten hurt. Well, you are the only girl that skied, what, 36 miles an hour against the men on the Pro Tour, though, huh? Yeah, actually, uh, that was that was a, a made-for-TV stunt, actually, um, back when they dropped the women from the Tour. Originally, uh, I wanted to point out to the world that uh, women deserve a place to ski on the professional tour as well as the men. And uh, they didn't put us back on the Tour. We just invented our own. All oh, the crazy hairdos, is that another bad girl stunt? <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, it is. Back when I uh, won the professional tour title, the overall title, uh, I did the Bridget, Bridget Neal same thing. I uh, butched my hair and bleached it blonde for intimidation of all the other competitors. But instead of intimidating them, I think it gave me confidence. And that was the year that I actually skied the best. So the hair thing is definitely a little bad girl thing. So how long until you're healed up and ready to go? Uh, it's uh, 12 weeks of no walking and four to six months of rehab. And so it'll be a while before I get a chance to get uh, back on the water, but... Uh, but then was, you're gonna whack the hair off, go blonde, and yeah, win, it, win, it, to... win it all again, huh? Yeah, I was a little disappointed because I was, I've been leading the World Cup all year, and uh, you know, just needed to stay with it to, to win the title, and being the oldest woman still competing professionally, I kinda wanted to, uh, you know, wind up the end of my career here with a big win, so I guess this means I can't retire. When we come back, we'll check out the slalom finals. And the women of water sports say, give me liberty or just my skis. 
Before your slalom parts the mist on that perfect day. Before the twists and turns. Before the world turns topsy-turvy at the bottom of your feet. Before the tube tumbles. Before the key even goes in the ignition. We at Correct Craft have built you the finest boat in the world, a Nautique. Strength, beauty, class. These words can be used to describe the women of professional water skiing and what they choose to ski behind. The ski boat of the year, Malibu. Break a new ground, making new rules. Malibu Boat Company is proud to be a major sponsor of Wow on Tour, thereby ensuring that women will always have a place to ski. We call it Wow Power. Malibu Boats, bring it on. Welcome back to Curves on Fox Sports Net as we head back on tour to Twin Lakes in Monroe, New York for the slalom finals of the Women's World Cup. First up, Elena Milikova of Russia. Now we're at 35 off here and a pretty good looking start for Elena. Just squeaks around ball two and she's going to have to get more than that. Uh, just around three loose in the handle. Uh, knowing where there's a lot of guns coming behind her, that's not going to hold up. Lovely smile from Karen Trullo. Also at 35 now. Already run a couple of passes and in at 35 off around ball one. Had a little bit of a, a double turn there at ball one. Over to two and three comfortably to four now. Looks like she's in good shape to make this. Getting a little bit down cross. Oh, she nearly lost the tip of the ski there. And the back foot skidding out there and a little bit of reminiscent Jennifer Leachman stuff coming back there. Okay, well, one of the twin event skiers, Emma Shears from Australia. Really gutsy performance here at 35. Cranks that five ball over to six. And, well, what a sensational performance by Emma Shears. Having a fabulous weekend. Seen here now at 38 off the rope. is shorter than the distance to the buoys. A round ball to... Oh, snapped that turn so hard. Couldn't hang on. And scores one and a half at 38 off. Another Australian, Tony Neville, also jumping this weekend. Seen here at 35 and just sweeps around ball six. So she gets that one out of the way and coming in now at 38 off. Very close to the gates there. Gets around ball one, over to two and she's stretching out. Just hangs onto the handle and gets the full two points but is not happy. And this is why Susie Graham of Canada ran four and a half at 38 off. And she's coming up, of course, behind Tony, so she knows two is not going to be enough. Susie sails through 35 off in the opposite direction, incidentally enough. 
coming in now at 38. Oh, what a great looking one ball. Sets it up perfectly around two. Oh, but it's tragedy. She's gone down early and given up the victory to Tony Neville. And the victory here brings her within reach of the World Cup. Simon, let's go back on a mission. This is our coolest one ever. Girl, Jen's on the phone. Say hi. Hi, Jen! You're not having fun without me, are you? It was liberating! <laughs> <laughs> you guys are famous now. That was incredible. Be sure to catch our next episode of Curve for our mission finale. But now let's have a little girl talk with our World Cup jump finalist, Karen Trulove. Um, I train about three to four times a day uh, this time of the season, just trying to maintain, um, not really learn too much stuff. So about three to four times a day, not too much. Um, for cross training, I like to rollerblade, lift weights, uh, play basketball, volleyball, mess around with my boyfriend, uh, all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> my boyfriend's Freddy Krueger. Um, he's a pro jumper, wakeboarder. Um, it's really great. He's kind of my coach um, slash supporter. So it's just really fun having somebody that just you know can be there day to day uh, and give you support. model is Christy Everton. Uh, she's just one of those people that's done everything there is to do. Um, the most important thing to me is she's a great winner and a great loser. Um, so I just look up to her and uh, just hope that one day I can maybe be as good as she is. When we come back, we'll look at the World Cup Jump Finals. And do a little shopping wild style. Now those are some famous curves. Stick around for more on Fox Sports Net. These women are the best in the world at their sport, and Malibu Boats is proud to be a major sponsor of Wow on Tour in 1998. We call it Wow Power. Breaking new ground, making new rules, Malibu. Before your slalom parts the mist on that perfect day, before the twists and turns, before the world turns topsy-turvy at the bottom of your feet. Before the tube tumbles. Before the key even goes in the ignition. We at Correct Craft have built you the finest boat in the world. A nautique. We're here at the Pro Water Ski Tour with Sammy Duval, and we're seeing an incredible number of personal bests behind Mastercraft's all-new Pro Star 190. Well, with the new positive pressure tracking system, everybody's skiing their best today. You've got to feel sorry for anyone out there who doesn't own a Mastercraft. It'd be enough to make you sick. <laughs> It's either a Mastercraft or the sickening feeling you settled for second best.
Curves is brought to you by Mastercraft, the leader and pulling farther ahead. By Malibu, breaking new ground, making new rules. And Nautic by Correctraft since 1925. Back out to Twin Lakes on tour again, the jump finals. And crunch time for Sherry Sloan, qualifying jump of 140. And that is not going to be enough to win this event, I feel. So a lot of pressure here to try and jump further than she did in the qualifying. Really stretched out nicely there, coming in with a 134. So a decent performance, but not satisfied. Zizi Law qualifying with a 140. And a good set of jumps here, and crank off this ripper, 144, have a look at that one, and seem pretty stoked about that, that's only one foot behind the longest qualifying jump from Tony Neville, very excited about that. Elena Melikova, very, very accomplished and experienced professional jumper, started off with a 141, and that's 143 there, so a great jump, but still one to go, remember Susie Law's got a 144 already in the bag, back the dot drying off. Here she comes again. A lot more speed this time. A much later cut. And look at the lift that time. 149 feet this time. Sensational stuff from the Russian. Well, that brings on Emma Shears. Now, this is a former world record holder here. And a, again, another extremely experienced jumper. Really goes for it too. Booted that one off. And that's a 141. So, good jumping, but not enough. Needs at least 150 to catch Elena Milikova. Oh, and even later this time, look how much he's cutting to the base. Really stretches out. And that's a huge jump there. Look further. 150. Into the lead she goes. What a sensational performance by the Aussie. But that leaves one jumper remaining. Tony Neville, the top qualifier this morning, with a 145. Tony felt a little bit stretched out with the 145. Can she reach deep enough for another five feet? Looks pretty good. But maybe not as far as Emma, the best 141. So fantastic performance by the Australian there, the champion, and well ahead in the World Cup. Simon, there's only one thing I like doing better than skiing. That is spending money wow style. Another great World Cup event. We had an unreal time here in New York City. It's too bad we lost Jen, but we have one wow event left. And that'll be coming to you also from New York City, so be sure to join us next time for more of your favorite curves. <laughs>